What is truth? The greatest minds in human history attempted to answer it and left us with an enormous intellectual heritage. But have we truly gotten any closer to the answer? Welcome. We are Irrevelato, and in this video, we'll dive deep into the elusive, sometimes unsettling nature of truth. From the shadows of Plato's cave to the farthest reaches of the cosmos, humanity has been absorbed and tormented by the quest for truth and meaning. We often want to believe we can find the truth, that it exists definite and tangible, like some hidden treasure waiting to be excavated. But the truth has a way of evading our grasp, slipping through our fingers as we turn each new page in the never-ending story of human knowledge. The fact is, truth has a paradoxical quality. The more we learn, the more we realize how little we understand. Aristotle and Albert Einstein would agree. Discoveries shed light while casting shadows on our previous assumptions, reminding us that we don't see things as they are, we see them as we are. Truth leads to more questions, uncertainties and complexities, but we must not despair. The journey towards truth is the noblest endeavor. We may never achieve absolute truth, but in understanding the limits of human knowledge, perhaps we edge closer to the highest kind of wisdom. So come with us on this winding path as we explore the nature of truth from many angles. Keep your beliefs, but bring an open and critical mind. The truth has nothing to fear from honest questioning, as Francis Bacon observed when he stated, truth emerges more readily from error than from confusion. The quest for truth is as old as human civilization itself. Early philosophers like Socrates pioneered new logical reasoning and critical analysis techniques to chip away at assumptions and reveal insights. He showed truth comes from questioning, not blind acceptance of dogma. As Socrates famously said, the unexamined life is not worth living. Similarly, Descartes initiated the Cartesian doubt as a skeptical system for separating truth from beliefs. He said, I think therefore I am. You experience things, therefore you know you exist. In the centuries that passed, new scientific methods have taken this question to new heights. Empirical observation, experimentation, peer review. This is the process by which humanity inches towards the objective reality of the natural world. As Carl Sagan put it, science is a way of thinking much more than it is a body of knowledge. But objective truth has limits. When grappling with the deepest existential questions of meaning, purpose and ethics, we enter the realm of subjective truth. Here, as Einstein said, the most beautiful experience we can have is the mysterious. Life's meaning is not something to be deduced or experimentally proven. It is reality for each of us as long as we walk on this earth. Sometimes we find truth through inner exploration, intuitions, imagination and faith. Life's fulfillment comes not just from quantifying the material world, but from qualifying our subjective experience, the feeling of it, you know. So while objective truth is narrow, subjective truth is boundless. As Mahatma Gandhi wrote, Truth is by nature self-evident. As soon as you remove the cobwebs of ignorance that surround it, it shines clear. By broadening our perspectives, listening empathetically, reflecting critically on ourselves, and weighing our biases, we can transcend the limits of any single viewpoint. The truth emerges in the synthesis of clashing worldviews, the constructive good-faith dialogue between individuals of contrasting beliefs and backgrounds. We inch towards truth by opening our hearts and minds. What is truth? The eternal question that has consumed humanity across cultures and eras, from the mysticism of ancient shamans to the logic of enlightenment thinkers, we have sought truth through inner revelation and outward deduction. Both intuitive and rational avenues bring insights, yet our grasp remains incomplete, forever. As the Buddha taught, three things cannot be long hidden, the sun, the moon, and the truth. This saying conveys the idea that certain things, no matter how hard one might try to conceal or deny them, will eventually become known or evident to others. The metaphorical use of the sun and moon emphasizes this point since both are celestial bodies that, after setting or being obscured by clouds, will inevitably reappear. Similarly, the truth, even if suppressed or concealed for a time, will eventually come to light. And while the light of truth shines eternally, our mortal eyes perceive only faint glimmers filtered through the murky waters of language, bias and limited awareness. 
We are like the blind men in the Buddhist and Hindu writings, encountering an elephant, mistaking parts of his body for the whole. Our truth comes in fragments, hinted at through metaphor, allegory, and poetry. We circle around truth through stories, myths, and questions without answers. The heart has its reasons that reason cannot know. Truth embraces the paradox. It is subjective, objective, relative, and absolute all at once. Boundless, eternal, yet experienced now in each fleeting moment. Truth fills the silent gaps between words, between breaths. It is felt in stillness. As Lao Tzu wrote, silence is a source of great strength, and maybe this is how we find the truth. In quiet contemplation, when thoughts dissolve, the truth may suddenly unfold, a blossom opening. So let us walk lightly on this path, embracing unknowing, asking, listening, opening. Truth is not grasped, but received. Seek not to seize it, but be seized by it. Not to understand, but to stand under in wonder. The truth may descend like a dove with wings spread in flight, alighting for but an instant before taking wing again. A glimpse is enough but eventually we want more. Plato introduced the idea of a realm of perfect, unchangeable forms or ideas, which are more real than the tangible world we perceive. In this view, the physical world is but a shadow of these ideal forms, and true knowledge is an understanding of these perfect entities. Contrastingly, Hume, with his bundle theory, presented a radical view on the nature of self. Instead of seeing the self as a consistent, unified entity, Hume argued that it's merely a collection of experiences or perceptions bundled together by memory and consciousness. There's no underlying self beneath these bundles. Our perception of continuity is just an illusion. The nature of reality was also debated by both rationalists and empiricists. Hegel also asserted, truth is not static but evolves dialectically through the integration of contradictory viewpoints. Kant's revolutionary idea was that reality, as we perceive it, is not an exact representation of things as they are in themselves, but rather is shaped by the innate structures of our minds. In other words, our cognition plays an active role in constructing our experience of reality. This epistemological standpoint marked a significant departure from the prevailing views of the time, suggesting that our knowledge of the external world is always mediated by our mental faculties. Building on this foundation, psychologists like Piaget and Jung delve deeper into the intricacies of the mind and how it shapes our understanding of the world. Piaget, for instance, focused on the cognitive development of children. He proposed that as children grow, they pass through different stages of cognitive development, each with its own unique way of understanding and interacting with the world. For Piaget, our understanding of reality evolves as we mature and learn. The structures of our minds, which Kant spoke of, are not fixed, but develop through our interactions with the world. Carl Jung, on the other hand, delved into the deeper, often hidden parts of the mind. He proposed the idea of a collective unconscious, a realm of shared symbols, archetypes and experiences that transcend individual consciousness. For Jung, our perception of reality is influenced not only by our personal experiences, but also by this shared reservoir of symbolic meanings and ancestral memories. The structure of our minds, in Jung's view, is thus both personal and collective, shaping our reality in ways we are often unaware of. And this resonates with his friend Freud, who also dared to explore the shadowy unconscious, the truths we hide even from ourselves. As he put it, the ego is not master in its own house, William James pioneered the study of subjective personal truth in his radical empiricism. As he said, the truth of an idea is not a stagnant property inherent in it. Truth happens to an idea. Existentialists like Sartre and Camus focused on how we each create meaning in an absurd, indifferent universe. The postmodernists challenged meta-narratives and absolute claims to truth. But if nothing is absolute, is anything true? Yes and no, or no and yes. As Foucault wrote, truth is linked in a circular relation with systems of power which produce and sustain it. Derrida's deconstruction showed how the slippery nature of language frustrates our grasp of truth. These perspectives enrich our understanding of truth's nuances. But now we have more questions than answers. Does truth evolve with time or is it eternal? Is it objective or subjective? 
external or internal, reason or intuition. Perhaps, as the mystic Rumi said, the truth was a mirror in the hands of God. It fell and broke into pieces. Everybody took a piece of it, maybe. Similarly, Karol Kapek believed human beings are more important than their truths. Inch by inch, we are building a mosaic together to a fuller understanding. The truth sparkles all around us, reflected in each precious shard of insight. But the whole picture ever eludes us. Like stars that only reveal themselves in darkness, truths shine clearest when we empty ourselves of assumptions and open in wonder. So as we continue on this endless quest, let us walk together with open hands and open hearts, sharing our fragmentary truths in the spirit of friendship. The road is long, but we need not walk alone. Friends, what glimmers of truth have you uncovered in your own journey? We would love to hear your reflections. Please leave a comment and share your insights so we can all learn from each other. If you found this video meaningful, like, subscribe, and consider supporting the channel on Patreon. Your contributions allow us to keep creating videos to nourish our shared search for meaning. Links to our Amazon referral and social media are in the description below. We greatly appreciate your support. May we all keep seeking, questioning and unveiling the truth, one fragment at a time. Together, step by step, we approach an understanding beyond words, a silent truth that rests in stillness. We wish you all much peace on this never-ending journey.